Hello, weather report. The guy with the big orange hands. I'm already out of breath again because I just had to run through the house as the main fuse of the house just blew in the middle of recording the video. But that hasn't happened in at least 10 years. How it has happened? Well, that's just stupid. I have to start over again. MP is a format that you can't just restore easily. Anyway, it wasn't important. It's a gamo R, which unfortunately has to be returned. Because it is not completely airtight. According to the principle, if there is no seal in it, it cannot be airtight either. Knowing can't be changed. It happens. I spoke with the sender, which is a weapons dealer, and they said yes, no problem at all. And what could happen? Fate? Just return it? They tested it on site to see if it works. And I suspect that when removing the capsule, the seal came out with it. It can happen. Shit happens. Especially when you do it in a multi-layer operation, so to speak. I'll just hold the camera for a moment, because I think it's quite nice. It's not so nice that I would keep it long term because it will probably be too inaccurate, something we will never find out now. But it looks polished, well, like it just came out of the store yesterday. The original box from the 8th Eye, dated August 1996, is still there. Yay. And of course, user manual in 95 different languages is also included. Yes, and an airdrop, well, Gamo R. You know I like Gamo stuff, because they usually do their job quite well. And as I said, this thing looks polished. It's like new. There's nothing wrong with it. This is an 8-shot CO revolver for Diabolo pellets. Yes, I checked the barrel. It is rifled. No, it's only about 2.5 inches long, but it is rifled. I find the whole device to be relatively large. It feels quite impressive in the hand. It looks good. Yes, unfortunately, I can't say anything about how many jewels come from it. For actual reasons. But I wanted to at least have shown it to you in front of the camera beforehand because I actually think it's quite nice. I'll start reading again. Steyer 77 is written on it. Then there's something written at the top. God, it's tiny. There's a F mark at the very back that I can see. A Diabolo mark, so no round pellets. And I suspect that a caliber specification is written there. Here on the edge, this is written. It is not made for the very old ones. Then there is a fire and save here. So this pin that comes out from the side at the top simply blocks the hammer. The hammer won't come to the valve now, no matter what happens. With a real weapon, it would be the firing pin that pushes the cartridges out again. The slider, which is normally responsible for opening the cylinder in the original, does not work here. It is non-functional. Instead, there is a small pin at the front allowing you to flip the cylinder out. It flips from the back where eight pellets can be inserted and then they flip out from the front. Everything looks quite good so far. Is the cartridge chamber actually pulled out? No, the cartridge chamber is smooth. I'm using orange as the background here. Yes, nothing has changed. The barrel is still pulled. However, I have seen deeper grooves and above all, longer barrels. Yes, 2001. There is nothing special about it. There are small O-rings inserted at the front, which probably serve as such. Well, it can be turned. I have a gap here. Yes, the cylinder gap is quite visible. It's not the end of the world, but I know it with a sharp one as well. You can see exactly between the cylinder gap how, from many, many shots from below, the frame bridge is being worn down by the impacts. It's like a small knife that works its way in over the years. 2001. You can also see that nothing is clicking and everything is turning. It's a very clever construction. Watch. I'm just going to shoot in double action now. You see that. And as long as I hold the trigger, it is also blocked. So it works. If it didn't work, then if you pull the trigger quickly due to your own momentum, the drum would rotate too far. That would not be good. That would especially not be good with real weapons. But even here, the weapon would not improve. If I let go, it can be turned again. So that's just how it is. Works in everyday use. And it says Gamo on the grip panels. I like the color of the grip panels. I actually like everything about the whole thing. The hammer is quite sharp-edged. Um, 
so here and there one would have wished that they had gone over it again with a wire brush to remove the very sharp edges. They didn't do that? Well, that was in 96, so people overlooked such things back then. The other side, we also have a gamo on the grip panel. On the grip panel, use an... Patent pending. It gets very small now. I think it says made in Spain, which is always good. Of course, made in Germany is even better, but made in Spain is not bad. Yes, and then it says danger here again. Everything is dangerous, we are all going to die. Help, don't do anything wrong. And here in the front, there is a serial number. So, how does the air even get in there? The air simply comes in from down here. U2001, the capsule that you insert down here and then screw it shut. And if there were a seal in there, the thing would also shoot? But they told me right away, so spare parts for such old things. You can try to find them somewhere. But to be honest, I don't feel like it... If I replace a seal there, which will probably cost a decent amount of money again, then there is always the likelihood that it will come out again with the next capsule. So come on, what can you do, right? It is what it is. My God, the world isn't ending. Above all, we're talking about small money. I really got it extremely cheap, and worrying about it just doesn't make sense. Oh yes, it looks like this from the front. I know, you are just a camera. Otherwise, I wouldn't hold this thing under your nose. The sight... So the GR I find quite... Okay. This is a self-defense sight, so slanted at the back, not a target sight. I actually find the rear sight quite good. It is adjustable in height and sideways, but only with a screwdriver. I can't say if something clicks there. I don't know, but it certainly makes a good impression. It's a sharp image, which I also like. Well, I unfortunately can't say anything about any muzzle energies. We will never find out. I also won't be able to say anything about how accurately this piece shoots. Stupid love. Yes, it's actually a shame. I really find it visually very successful. There is also no sales price for this thing because it hasn't been built or manufactured for many years. Is that it? Isn't there more to get out of this number about... 7 minutes and 50 seconds so far. Well, nice. Unfortunately, the thing is going back to the dealer. With a certain regret. But also with a certain claim to justice. Well. That's it then. Maybe someone will come back someday, but I don't know. It was just so cheap because no one wanted it. They didn't see its value. If they had held the thing in their hands like I did... People would have bid more, would have outbid each other, but they didn't. Good for me. Yes, and that's why the good piece is going back. So if I couldn't get a proper thumbnail at the beginning, let's make one now. Yeah, is that proper? Is that good? Do you approve? Is that okay? Yeah. I really don't have anything more to say about it. Actually, a shame. Well then, I thank you all very much again. I'm complaining a bit about having to turn off the camera all by myself. Especially after the power outage, not exactly great. All the computers have, of course, also shut down. Yeah, then the thing is going back to the sender. Yeah, aside from expenses, nothing happened. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. It shouldn't take too long, knowing myself. If you're a workhorse, use and...